sometimes living on mission and living for the Great Commission means living the gospel out in our workplaces, in our families, and in the places we find ourselves. Uh, other times, though, living out the Great Commission means giving our lives to a, a long-term commitment. And, and so tonight here at The Five, we're going to have a moment. We're going to pray over a missionary who's being sent out from our church who's going to do a long-term missionary commitment uh, to Kenya. And so would you guys welcome for me uh, Rachel and uh, some other members from our church. Give her a big round of applause here at The Five. Uh, this is our, our friend Rachel Kabagobu. Is that right? No, it's so close. It's so close. We tried really hard. This is Rachel, church family. And uh, yes, come on, let's give it up for her. She is going out to the mission field. She's going to Kenya to be a teacher with Rift Valley Academy, which is amazing. So she's going to be a teacher, but listen, she's not a teacher. She's a missionary in Jesus' name. Amen. And she's going to share the gospel, to proclaim the message of Jesus, to love on the people that are there. And, and so we wanted to have a moment where we are praying over her. Uh, she is, is being sent out literally from our church. We, if you're giving to Houston's First, you're helping Rachel go on mission. Uh, Kelsey, who leads our missionary care department, is going to be working with Rachel, caring for her on the field. It's not just, okay, go on the mission field, like, good luck, hope it goes well. No, we're a church that cares for our missionaries. We want to care for you, Rachel, as you do the work of ministry. ministry. We want to care for your heart. We want to care for your soul. And we as Houston's First, we just want you to know we're so proud of you that you said yes to going on mission, to saying yes to, to what God has called you to do. And just thinking about this moment, it reminded me of uh, Acts chapter 13. It's a, a, the moment where the church is praying over uh, Paul and Barnabas as they get sent out on mission. And it says this, it says uh, that while they were worshiping, that's what we're doing right here at the five, while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. And then they go off to their amazing missionary journeys. And man, we, we know how powerful the Holy Spirit worked in and through them. And we're believing that God's going to do the same thing in and through you, Rachel. And so here's what I want us to do here at The Five. I would love for each and every one of us to, to extend a hand as we uh, pray over Rachel, Kelsey, and the Ralstons up here, myself. We're going to lay hands on her physically. And we're just saying, God, would you do your work in her life? Give her safety as she travels. Help her to get connected to the right people there. And ultimately, we're praying for favor of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel that saves, that she would be able to, to be a part of that work. So uh, Kelsey's going to pray, but let's extend a hand and let's pray over our sister Rachel here tonight. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, we uh, come before you and we approach your throne tonight and just thank you for being a God that sees all and sees all people in all nations. God, you have called us to go out and to make disciples among all nations. God, and Father, that is the calling that you have placed on Rachel's life to go out and make disciples in Kenya through the avenue of teaching God. Thank you for her obedience, for just stepping forward in faith and saying yes to what you have called her to do. And so Father, as we send her out and as she steps into this new season and steps onto a plane and enters Kenya, God, that we just pray for travel mercies, God, that um, she just feels your peace surrounding her, Father. And that as she enters into a new country, God, that she knows that you were with her every step of the way because you have called her there. God, and I just pray, God, that you use her for your glory, God. That um, she gets out of her own way, but God, that your glory is known through the work that she is doing and through the students that she's going to be teaching and the other teachers that she's going to be around, God. And so, Father, we just... Thank you and praise you for the way that you have made Rachel and how you formed her in your image, God, and how you are sending her out to do your good work, God. And so as believers, we just come around her and we want to support and encourage her and allow her to know that she is just so loved, not only by us and as the church, but by you, more importantly, God. And so it's all in your name we pray. Amen. 
Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.